Hi Virgo, this is House of Virgo doing your love reading for the next 24 hours for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Please remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Personal reading links are below this video. Um, you can also follow me on my other tarot channel called Moon Pie Tarot. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, okay, I'm also on Instagram at House of Virgo. All right. Let's see, Virgo. Wow. Okay, past position of the world. The Ten of Wands. Five of Cups. Okay. Current position. The Moon. The Five of Pentacles. Oh, the Six of Cups. Future. Seven of Swords. Six of Wands. And you have the Lovers. All right, it's all about the energy. So we do have uh, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, for those of you who need to know. So the past position, something ended and something new began in the past. Remember you were connecting with somebody here in the past put an end to a burden or struggle. There's a lot of grief and sadness that came with that. Um, that could be you. Just remember these readings could be reversed. This very well could have been you, that you put something to rest with the world. Okay. Um, you completed some kind of lesson that you learned, perhaps, um, and to finish some kind of goal that was exhausting for you, or just some lesson that was just so stressful, carried a lot of weight. And there's an element of the Five of Cups of feeling very sad, okay? Um, some of you may have a sense of regret, but this This could be your person as well. Something ended because it was very stressful. Um, maybe you ended it with them and they moved on or vice versa. But whomever, it, usually when I do these readings or looking at the other person, I feel like this person, perhaps sometime at some point in the past, there was this desire to start over, have something like to turn the page and start back at the beginning. But I feel like your person had a really hard time with accepting the love. It seemed like all they could ever really look at is those three spilled cups and not the two and not what was offered to them. It was too much of a burden. Either they tried to have a new start with you but it was just very heavily weighted down their emotions kept them they were just sad all the time or they just didn't feel like they could carry some type of burden or the stress of a relationship because of how I feel like it, there was a, a sense of uncertainty within them it was much easier for them to just try to have their freedom because the burden to carry um, seemed like it was just too much for them. And let's get a clarifying card for the world card here. I feel like this your person carries already or carried along with them in any new start, intimate, romantic relationship. They carry this the burden of grief. Um, this person always thought that they weren't lovable or that they would be abandoned. You know, that's a, a heavy burden to carry, but they always kept trying to start over, perhaps with you, or, um, or they would just leave it and go start over elsewhere until things got tough. 
until it was revealed that they um, don't feel good enough. And so they would just close the chapter with you and go to somebody else, and then they would try to come back to you. And then, but see, they never got rid of that. They just kind of were like, well, if we start over, maybe it'd be different. It's kind of like insanity doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So things aren't going to change as long as you keep carrying around those struggles, right? So the world here, four of cups, see? Emotional unavailability. Um, that's avoidance. Um, this person had a sense of unfulfillment. You know, maybe that dates back to their childhood or they never got that love, you know? Or they traveled the world looking for love, but they could never connect. Or they felt unloved or unworthy of love. Um, yeah, this person might have become indifferent to love or apathetic. <clears throat> love would always come in because that Four of Cups energy can be like, they'd always have like, they'd meet somebody new or they would meet you and it'd be like a surprise and they'd be happy there was love, but then they just could never get into it and they'd turn into that unhappiness. Let's see the Ten of Wands here. <laughs> the Emperor, I feel like the Emperor's just been showing up in Virgo's readings a lot. <coughs> it was a, a very burden, to, a heavy, heavy burden for this person, male or female, to be in a leadership role in the relationship with you. Okay? Or even to think about becoming a father or being a good father. Okay? It was too much for this person to bear. So they went down into grief and sadness and... Um, you know, that feeling of um, not good enough. I'll never compare. Um, this person might have traveled the world so much in their youth that they never really made strong roots or connections with people or in their younger years for some. Um, it's possible that they sought much of their fulfillment online or communicating through text and all, which it's not the real world, you know? Kept seeking to make a connection, and then they'd meet someone new, and then they would feel good at the moment. Like, oh, this person likes me, but then here comes that Five of Cups energy. The past followed them everywhere they went. Let's get a clarifier for the past. Yep. The angel always with them, trying to bring them peace and balance and harmony, but... <laughs> This person just never believed, maybe, in divine timing. Um, they had a hard time tempering their emotions. Okay? Um, they really had a hard time with that in the past. Uh, their grief. This person just was so always sinking in their grief and their sadness or feeling sorry for themselves, you know? So the current energy here is the moon, which... Wow. Um, I feel like this person is about to walk through or pass through this energy of their wild side and their domesticated side. The side that has expectations that they behave a particular way. Uh, society, environment, you, whomever, and then the other side that just wants to be wild and free. So there's an element with the moon here where I feel um, this person, things are being revealed to them very slowly, okay? Some unseen issues and problems um, and things that have happened in their life that they have not addressed those deep, deep emotions, you know, those dark shadows, those things that come out at night, those things that scare us off and make us run. The Three of Pentacles. <laughs> this person has suppressed emotions. They suppress their emotions through work. Okay. Um, I feel like 
one of the things that's coming up for them is they do want teamwork, they do want partnership, they do want to be married. But it was always like, do I do that? Can I do that? That domesticated side? Or do I just stay wild and free? And what's really on their mind at this time, what's really starting to show up is, is it time for me to domesticate myself, be a good father, be a husband, be a good wife, be a mother, m get married, commit, team up with somebody, collaborate, work, acquire the skills. How do I do this? So there are things like this coming up for this person presently. And then the five of pentacles is here. So we have two fives in the reading thus far. And again, the fives represent change and uncertainty, but they also represent realignment. There may have been inconsistency, okay? So the reason why this person always felt abandoned or left out in the cold was because they could never commit to something. It wasn't anybody else that really just, I mean, I don't know that you left this person out in the cold, but I feel like this, your person, couldn't not commit. I, I feel like they were able to commit to things in their life, other areas in their life, but the emotional, intimate relationship thing, um, their head was kind of always up in the clouds it, because they could never commit or they just couldn't. I don't want to say commit. Uh, for some, it is that, but for others, this person struggled. They struggled in making a decision. They couldn't decide where they wanted to be or where they needed to be. And then those on the receiving end of that, other people would leave them. So they kept setting themselves up to be left. And I feel like this person is coming to terms with that. Um, presently, they do feel left out in the cold. They don't know where you stand or what you want. Um, but I feel like they are recognizing and um, coming to terms with um, getting like a restored sense of how they feel about you and, and coming to terms with that they need to make a decision now. And they do. And then there's reconciliation. There's an apology. This person, um, I feel like, no longer wishes to live in the past, no longer being naive or having unrealistic expectations set on themselves and on you. And I feel like um, they either come in to apologize or just try to reconcile with you and express how they feel. Okay, Queen of Swords, okay? That's our first person to show up here. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, coming in with the truth, not just with kindness and sincerity and a lovely expression of warmth and emotion, but also um, their intention here to come and reconcile with you. I, I feel like the message is mostly um, to be completely direct and open and truthful, like it's it's real. Like if you were to ask, okay, this person's coming in to reconcile with me, but is it true? Is it real? Yes, because the Queen of Swords is here. They mean it. <laughs> they mean it. It's 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 truly sincere. Okay, and it could be um, for some of you an, an error element. Okay, so, um, you know, it doesn't have to be a lover. For some, it could be a friend or a family member or, or it could be an ex or a lover, someone you're currently dealing with. But going forward in the future, the Seven of Swords is here. So there's something here about um, a sense of like running away, dishonesty, betrayal, sneakiness. But what I feel, and I don't, I've never looked at this card and thought this, it's kind of in the reverse for me. 
Okay. There was a stalemate situation between you and this person. That's what the Two of Swords is. This person is coming in with their Five Swords, which is someone who is taking action despite what others feel, think, or say, just uh, leaving behind any naysayers or anybody who would disagree. And they're climbing up that mountain to grab these two swords so that it no longer becomes a stalemate between the two of you. I've never said that before, but I feel like you're in that tent there and you've got those two swords going forward and maybe even feeling this now, like you can't do anything about this. It's There's a block here. You may have blocked this person from coming into your home or coming anywhere near your home, but this person sneaks up with those five swords. The five of swords is like um, somebody who is like determined to break through. Okay, but they do it in a way where um, they don't reveal it to anyone, right? They don't let anyone know. They just kind of like, this is what their intentions are and they don't... It's not that they have something to hide. Maybe they have people that told them that you guys weren't a good fit or you shouldn't be together. Um, but I feel like this person doesn't care what anybody else says and they're coming in to, you know, compromise. They've made a decision here about you. And so the Six of Wands is here. This person absolutely wants to win your favor. Your favor and love. <laughs> they want to take your hand. They want to come into union with you and, and have that deep partnership. That's just it. That's that twin flame thing. This person definitely is coming back in and hoping to win your favor. And they don't care what anybody else feels, thinks, naysayers. They're ignoring all that. So show me the Seven of Swords. Okay, yeah, look at them. They've been definitely, uh, or they will be, um, the reason for that Seven of Swords energy is to come is uh, because I feel like this person, um, there's persistence. They're persistent. That's what's driving them. This person um, is holding up their boundaries and walls too. I feel like there's people who tell them or maybe it's the thoughts in their head because it is sword energy um, that have said, no, don't go forward with Virgo. No, don't do it. There might be fears, right? Because they didn't feel they were good enough, perhaps. They're just ignoring it now. And I feel like this person wants to... <laughs> it's strange. I know it's going to sound strange. It feels like it's like... This is that person's ops. You know, this is the person that's like standing guard the gate so nobody can get in or come in and say anything while they come to, to you. This is like their decoy, their front. This person says, sorry, but um, this person here isn't available. Um, I'm blocking the entry because they're going somewhere. Could be sneaking away on a vacation or just coming to see you or something or communicating with that about that, you know? Like in a kind of a deceptive way, like, hey, I'm going to be, they, they might show up at a pub that you go to, or they might show up, um, you know, or they're going to be in town or something. You know, it's just their intention is to come remove these two swords as stalemate. So they've got somebody here that's kind of covering for them. <laughs> Crazy message. Let's see what the Six of Wands energy is. Mm, three of Cups, yep, they want reunion. This person, oh, they want to win your heart. They definitely want to win your heart. They're even going to, um, if they have sisters or they have connection with friends or whatever, like it's going public, not others that they're connecting with. Um, they're, this person's intentions going forward is to um, reveal after this connection gets made, they're going to reveal to others um, that they um, have won the heart of Virgo and they're going to parade that around that they, not in a, not in a bad way, don't take it wrong. Um, it's a good way. I don't, 
it's interesting because I feel like it's mostly coming from the fact that this person is really seeing that living on the wild side while it might be fun and adventurous it's lonely out there that's that lone wolf right there your person's been like living that lone wolf lifestyle and they're looking to be more civilized and more domesticated and that's what the change is and they know you're the one that they can do that with okay so um do they get a lot of attention from the opposite sex or others? Yes. Um, are they going to enjoy that? Yes. Does that mean that anything nasty is going on? No, because the Three of Cups is in the upright. This is more like friends, celebrations, and a circle of support. This is people around them. Once they come out and they win your favor, who are going, there's, they're going to come out with it and... Um, they're going to have a lot of support for your connection. And then the lovers is here. Okay. So there could be marriage or a sense of like coming together once and for all. And both of you making this decision to end up in union. Again, that's a twin flame. You've been, some of you Virgos have just been ongoingly dealing, connecting with a twin flame. Let's get some clarity. Show me the lovers, please. <laughs> the tower <gasps> there is definitely be careful there could be um you know oh this is a shock this person is going to marry you virgo <sighs> you both like you maybe some of you might have been waiting for it some of you might uh, gave up on it but this also like physical um explosive physical sexual union as well here and there's definitely that energy is going to be there be careful because that could if you're not trying to have a child that could very well happen because it's obvious that there's no protection on that you know the tower could be a very phallus symbol there's no protection there um or there could be like if there is protection like a um a crack or a leak so to speak but in more symbolic terms there's an energy here of like this connection is going to be like absolutely explosive this you know massive change coming here the tower isn't always negative it feels scary because everything shakes up you know when lightning strikes it's scary it's a big kaboom and i'm talking i'm not talking about a little lightning strike you know not that lightning strikes are little. I'm not talking about one out in a field somewhere. I mean, this like hits the house. <laughs> this is how this is going to feel. It feels like a spark happens, you know? I'm just hearing that um, Fleetwood Mac gypsy song. Lightning strikes maybe once, maybe twice, but it changes everything. This is like divine intervention the ego is stripped away and there's an energy of i know there's a connection between spiritual insight and wisdom and that's between the two of you it's like an i know that we're meant to be together in all of our nakedness in all of our vulnerabilities if you're a male uh, if you could see the male is looking at the female the female's form the attraction to the female, the, you know, he looks at her, but the female is looking up to spirit. The female trusts her intuition. She trusts God. She has to because the snake is on her side. The evil and the temptation is always with her. She can at times be the temptress, but she seeks spiritual insight and guidance. That's how she avoids the snake. And the male over here, he's got the tree of knowledge, okay? He's very wise. But the tree is on fire. And for me, it's burning up because everything this man thought that he knew when he looks at her, it all is gone because she is the light. She is the way for him. Everything that he does going forward has everything to do with her. Okay. 
So whether you're the male or the female, you can resonate however you like with this. Let's get a couple of angel wisdom messages for you, Virgo. Yep, there's that seven of cups again. Make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire. Move forward. There may be too many options. There may be addictions. Well, as I said, your person is making this decision now. And maybe so are you. Strength. Personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness. Compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that you're stronger than you knew. That's Leo energy. And the, also we have Scorpio energy there. It's power. That's eight. That represents authority, strength, organization, control, and materialism. <clears throat> There's a crown. I'm seeing a crown. Some, somebody is like getting a crown placed on them. <laughs> and somebody is getting the crown knocked off of them. <laughs> I feel like there's um I just feel like you're taking your rightful place, Virgo. King of Pentacles, there we go. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded. A time of great success, financial security and prosperity. The Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully. A supportive parent and or spouse a good person to work for okay this could be you virgo or this is somebody that you're dealing with who's of the earth element they don't have to be earth but they come across with that element who's possessing the earth element okay so that was just a little bit of confirmation i feel like somebody here is gaining the courage and the strength to finally make this decision to stop procrastinating they're getting clarity on the fact that they desire you and wish to move forward with you. All of their options and addictions, they're putting them away. Um, very grounded energy. Okay. They wish to be successful with you, Virgo. So in love, congratulations. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I will see you in uh, 24 hours for your, your next reading. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe here on my channel. And I'll speak to you very soon. Take care.